Happy Friday, everyone. Today is Friday, March 19th. Please join me in standing for the Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. And now for a moment of silence. Thank you, you may be seated. And we have lots of birthdays that we are celebrating with our students between today and Sunday. So happy birthday to the following students. Whether you're celebrating today, the 19th, the 20th, or the 21st, I hope you have a wonderful day. So happy birthday to Jasmine, Jasmine, Marisol, Isaiah, Ashley, Galea, Ricardo, Angel, Hector, Amartiro, Lillian, D'Angelo, Gabriella, Sergio, Jeremiah, Destiny, Diana, James, Leonardo, Roberto, Isaiah, Gabriel, Sergio, Emilio, Kai, Charisma, Benjamin, Julian, Devin, Oscar, Jada, Alexa, Ashley, and Teresa. Happy birthday to you all. And we have several staff birthdays today and over the next several days. So we are celebrating Miss Bay, who is one of our CTE family consumer teachers. We are celebrating Miss Kirby, one of our PE teachers. Mr. Rush from our English department. Edgar Garcia from our security department. Mr. Gianeski from our PE department. Ms. Steffel from our English department, Ms. Flores from our modern language department, and Ms. Prendeville from our special education department, wishing you all a very special day in the days ahead. And today is Friday, students, so that means that we start with fourth period. We do four, five, six, and then kick it back up to the beginning with periods one, two, and three after that extra help time. Don't forget, Monday the 22nd is a check and connect day. It is a asynchronous. Teachers will be letting you know what their expectations are for you on this day in terms of classwork and attendance. And don't forget, Mustangs health and safety should be on our mind every day. Follow that hallway traffic, wear those masks. Remember the IDPH guidelines and ISBE guidelines do state that in schools, masks must be wear, worn at all times. So there is no exemption for masks unless it comes with a medical accommodation. So masks must be worn and social distancing remains important. Six feet is best. And from our athletic department, today we have girls badminton going on. It's their West Suburban Conference tournament. There is sophomore, sophomore football against Downers Grove North. That is an away game. And the football game, varsity football game was canceled. And we have Saturday sporting events. We have some football going on with the freshman level and boys soccer going on for both freshmen and varsity. And don't forget streaming. We can stream this Saturday's games that we have. We have the Mustangs versus Hinsdale South, as I mentioned, for football and the Mustangs versus Leiden for soccer. Don't forget, ladies, if you are interested in softball workouts, they start this coming Monday, the 22nd at the Morton East Varsity Softball Field from 4 to 6 p.m., questions, contact Coach O'Neill. And freshman baseball triads are coming soon. They will be April 5th. There is a Teams code here and a Remind code that can help keep you informed about all things that are coming for freshman baseball. And seniors, here's the first of many announcements. The senior fees have been added to your account and information about graduation is coming out. We will be hosting graduation at Morton West this year. And for Morton West, we will have two ceremonies and those will take place 
June 1st and June 2nd. More information about that is coming, so hang on to your seats. And don't forget the last days of school is May 20th for seniors and for freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, it is May 25th. And don't forget seniors, Don't this cap and gown survey should be filled out ASAP if you haven't done it already, so that we can order cap and gowns for our graduation ceremony. Today's Friday, so we have several after school activities. We have Black Student Union, we have CARE, we have Improv Club, Intramurals, and Tutoring College Services. And NHS is available in the midday time during the AM and PM help time, as well as the transition time to help do some tutoring and help students get back on track. If you have not yet purchased your Bloom Pop, you still have time. Sunday is when the orders close. You can send a handmade tissue paper bouquet with a lollipop center to anybody that you care about, along with a special message. And from Morton College, you can set up an appointment with Diego Aleman, who is the Morton College specialist. There is a link here to set up those one-on-one -on -one appointments, as well as there's a text number where you can text your questions or join the Zoom calls every Thursday. School counseling resources are here and available for you. Don't hesitate to reach out. If you have a question or a concern, we are here to help and hybrid learning spaces. Students can come and attend their classes in person and then stick around using a hybrid learning space for the remainder of the day. It's a great way for kids to transition back into full-time schooling. And if you have not yet read Building Relationships with Police, this was our most recent collaboration with our from our wellness series with our psychs and social workers. They, along with Officer Gordon, are here to help and support students at Morton West. So this week is all about building relationships with police and starting small with a wave. Access testing for Morton West starts on Tuesday. So students, if you did receive a notice that you are needing to do the access testing, please make sure you follow those directions and attend. The Morton West summer school schedule will be hybrid. There is a QR code list at the bottom here that allows you to get some more details about what's happening with summer school. It is hybrid, it is happening. There will be maroon and silver groups as well as some remote days. And today's Friday, so that means the place to pick up your seven day meal package is George Washington Middle School. And our care card winners for this week are Victor, Alejandro, Jenny, and Jonathan. You are each going to be receiving a Dunkin' Donuts gift card this week that will be delivered to your home. Congratulations, and thanks to the teachers who nominated you. And oh wow, our Morton family is growing. We have several recent additions. We had Miss Ryan, and her twins, Autumn and Colton, that you can see here on the left. In the center, we have Miss Holub with her little guy, Theodore James, and Miss Bruns over here on the right. And her baby is pictured here. You can encourage your parents to check out that newsletter that gets updated each week and provides them info about Morton West. This week's newsletter will inc include some of this graduation information that I have just mentioned. Also students, our average daily attendance yesterday was 86%. Last week's average daily attendance was 86%. Let's make today a great day and have a safe and happy weekend.